so the reason behind the enemy is shooting so faster and also the player AI shooting some doesn't work is because let me show you the enemy script right here if you notice when we say that if this is not true okay previously shot then we want to shoot okay and actually we have uh, right type this code outside this if condition so make sure that you type this code right here okay inside this if condition and after this you will have to cut this from there and actually paste this inside there okay right here and that is it you will have to put this inside the if condition okay from there to here and this then this animation put this inside this if condition okay and this one inside this if condition that's it now if we save this and now let's just actually make select all of the enemies first of all and change their time between shoot to 0.1 okay so now after every 0.1 seconds they will shoot you can increase or decrease this according to your enemies weapons okay but for now we'll leave this as 0.1 and now you will notice that after every 0.1 second the enemy will shoot and then stop wait for 0.1 second and then again the enemy will shoot as you can see now okay if we now try to increase this to 5 now after every 5 second the enemy will shoot you will notice it as you can see so you can set this according to your own game okay now as you can see after every one second the enemy shoots okay let's set this timer let's for example say 0 0.4 okay let's make this 0 0.2 i think 0 0.2 will be a good value so select all of the enemies again and change this to 0 0.2 and now there was a problem with our player shooting sound okay player AI shooting sound and that was the same issue with that script as well because this previously shot was outside this if condition on the player AI you will notice it so that's why this previously shot was never equals to true okay so we need to make this to true so that it just stop shooting for some time as we did for the enemy so now first of all cut this animation from there and put it in here okay right here and then cut this from here and inside this if condition paste it that's it let's give some space there and now let's uncomment this and now it will play the shooting sound perfectly so save the script and now the shooting sound of the player will work perfectly fine you will notice it now as you can see after every second that they fire but i think their time between shoot is four seconds as you can see let's make this as 0 0.1 okay for all of the three player ais and now after every 0 0.1 second they will shoot and the sound will look perfectly fine you will notice it Now you can notice their shooting sound it sounds perfect as you can see but it is not playing the muzzle spark as you can see it is showing for just these two I think we did entire muzzle spark to this enemy so let's select the first one he has the muzzle spark Check the second one, he has a slow. 
to a second. Now let's write the third one. They have the mother's spark attached, but I don't know why it didn't work. For the first one, as you can see, it shows that mother's spark for play, but I think this is an issue with my Unity because everything is perfectly fine. So now with our two issues solved, now let's add a shooting sound to our enemies as well. So if you click on our enemy, as you can see they have the mother spark. Now let's add the shooting sound. So for that, we will have to copy this from the player AI. Click on enemy, paste that right there and then copy this line as well from there and paste it right down here that's it now save the script get back right here and now select the enemies as you can see there they are let's add the audio source one by one Okay, and now let's add the shooting sound. So in the audios, let's add this. Let me check the sound. Let's add this one. So drag and drop that in there and that's it. And let's make the audio source sound of the carry eyes a little bit louder so that you guys can hear it properly I don't know why I'm talking so slow I don't know if you will be able to hear my voice or not but now if they try to shoot on the player AIs you can notice the sounds as you can see so it is working perfectly fine now we have the sound effects, we have the player UI as you can see now the only thing that is remaining is the mobile inputs so in the next video we will focus on the mobile inputs